In the world of high wire acts, there's a thin line, quite literally, between awe and disaster. Imagine a tightrope walker, high above a captivated crowd, each step a calculated risk. It's a spectacle of trust, a dance with danger where the tightrope is technology itself and the walker, a pilot. This is the story of Air France Flight 296Q, a narrative where ambition meets gravity, where the marvels of modern technology brush up against the unforgiving edges of reality. On the 26th of June 1988, during the Habsheim Air Show, an Airbus A320, bristling with the latest in aviation technology, was set to glide gracefully over an air show in France. A showcase, a demonstration of the prowess of the innovative fly-by-wire systems, promising a future where machines and humans exist in seamless harmony. But as history tells us, sometimes even the most rehearsed dances can miss a step and stumble into a freefall. So let's rewind the tapes, back to a time where the future of aviation seemed as bright and unblemished as the underbelly of a new Airbus soaring through a clear sky. But remember, in every tale of triumph, the shadow of tragedy is never too far behind, lurking, waiting for its cue to enter the stage. This isn't just about a plane. It's about people, progress, and the price paid when the two don't align perfectly. Stay with me as we untangle the strings of this story, where each decision, each technological marvel was a step on that high wire, and the world watched breathless as a routine flight turned into anything but. Picture the 1980. The world was a mixtape of neon dreams and digital fantasies, where technology wasn't just evolving, it was exploding. It was an era drunk on progress, a time when the future wasn't just knocking on the door, it was kicking it down. Then the Airbus A320 enters the stage. More than a plane, it was a promise, a marvel dressed in metal, boasting a brain wired by the latest craze in aviation, fly-by-wire. It was as if the Wright brothers shook hands with Silicon Valley, birthing a machine that could think, react, and execute with electronic precision. This wasn't just an upgrade, it was a revolution with wings. The A320 was set to turn the skies into circuits of efficiency and safety, making the perils of flight a thing of folktales. The world was eager, hungry for a taste of this future, where pilots were more than just operators, they were partners to a system smarter than ever before. But as with every leap into the unknown, there was a catch, a glitch in the matrix, the marriage of man and machine, while elegant on paper, was untested in the theater of real skies. Real lives. It was a gamble, a high-stake bet where the chips were human lives and the faith in technology. As Air France Flight 296Q prepared for its demonstration on that fateful June day, the world was watching, ready to applaud the dawn of a new era. Little did they know, they were about to witness a reminder, as old as Icarus himself, that when you fly too close to the sun, when you dance on the wire of innovation without a safety net, the fall can be catastrophic. Now let's dive deeper into the heart of our story. The Airbus A320, Flight 296Q, a technological titan ready to conquer the skies, unaware of the storm brewing on the horizon. In a world where the ordinary was being rapidly replaced by the extraordinary, the Airbus A320 was a shining emblem of this new order. It wasn't just a plane, it was the aviator's dream in living color. Imagine a cockpit where buttons and screens whispered secrets of a safer sky, where pilots could trust the invisible hands of computers to guide their journey. This was the promise of fly-by-wire technology, a symphony of algorithms and electronics making every decision, every maneuver, smoother, sharper, and safer. The A320 was more than a vessel. It was a harbinger of a future where human error would be a footnote in the annals of aviation. In its veins ran not just fuel, but the ambition of an entire industry. This plane was to show the world that the sky was not the limit. It was just the beginning. It was about proving that technology could cradle humanity even seven miles above the ground. But the real test wasn't in labs or test flights. It was in the eyes of the public, in the unforgiving arena of real-world application. Air France Flight 296Q was this test a spectacle where the A320 would flaunt its prowess, not just as a machine, but as a beacon of progress. This short flight was a landmark moment, the very first passenger flight of the Airbus A320, showcasing its technological advancements to the world. With expectations soaring high, the stage was set, but even the best laid plans can unravel in the face of reality. 
Let's witness how this flight draped in the mantle of progress faced its unexpected nemesis. Air France Flight 296Q, an Airbus A320, its sleek fuselage a testament to human ingenuity, soared towards its destiny. It was more than a flight. It was a display of progress, a technological titan showcasing its prowess. But beneath its polished veneer, a series of fatal flaws simmered. As the Airbus A320 descended for the low flyby, a critical error was made. Altitude, the invisible yet crucial component of flight, was miscalculated. The aircraft, too low, too slow, was ensnared in a trap of its own making. The advanced technology designed to safeguard against human error now became an unwitting accomplice to disaster. The engines, those mechanical beasts, faltered when it mattered most. They hesitated, sluggish and unresponsive. The pilots, seasoned hands at the helm, were blindsided. Expecting a surge of power, they were met instead with a lethargic groan from the engines. This delay was more than a mechanical hiccup. It was the catalyst for catastrophe. The pilots later stated that they believed there was a delayed response from the engines, contributing to the tragedy. However, this was later ruled out by investigators, leaving it as an unofficial and debated factor in the crash. In these dire moments, as the pilots urged the aircraft upwards, the Airbus's sophisticated systems misinterpreted the scenario, believing it was in a landing sequence due to the dangerously low altitude. The aircraft's systems switched to automatic landing mode. This was a death knell. The plane, instead of climbing, prepared to land, its systems locked in a fatal embrace with fate. The pilots, intending to maneuver the aircraft away from danger, found themselves wrestling with a machine that was programmed to land. This conflict between human intent and programmed protocol was a fatal tug of war. As the trees at the end of the runway loomed, the pilots fought desperately against their own creation, but it was too late. The Airbus, now a prisoner of its programming, couldn't escape its predetermined path. It clipped the trees, a collision of nature and machine, a brutal testament to the fragility of human control over technology. In the wake of the crash, amidst the twisted metal and shattered dreams, the truth lay bare. Air France Flight 296Q, a marvel of the skies, was brought to its knees by a tragic blend of mechanical delay, human oversight, and technological overconfidence. It stood as a grim reminder of the perilous edge on which technological advancement balances, a stark lesson in the catastrophic potential when humans and machines falter together. The official report notes the aircraft touched the trees beyond the runway, sank into the forest, came to rest, and then caught fire, resulting in three passenger fatalities, Imagine the scene, just like a frame from a twisted movie. The Airbus A320, once a marvel of the skies, now a contorted mass of metal. The aftermath of ambition meeting reality. This isn't fiction. It's the grim truth of what happened. In the analysis of the wreckage, the truth began to unfold. The investigation peeled back the layers, revealing not just mechanical faults, but human errors, organizational oversights, and technological overconfidence. The report concluded that the crash resulted from a very low flyover height, slower speed, engines at flight idle, and a late application of go-around power. Additionally, the possibility of the crew not properly accounting for the aircraft's altitude above ground level was noted as a factor. It wasn't just about a plane that crashed, it was about the shattered trust in a system that promised utmost safety. The media frenzy that followed was like a circling storm, relentless and unforgiving. Lawsuits and legal battles brewed like a storm in the aftermath. Families seeking justice, companies defending their reputations, regulations tightened, procedures overhauled. The industry learned its hard lesson, written in the ink of lost lives. In the end, this tragedy became a grim reminder, a lesson etched in history, a catalyst for change in an industry where the line between innovation and safety is as thin as the air at cruising altitude. From the twisted metal and smoldering dreams on that fateful day, a new chapter in aviation was written. The scars of the tragedy not just etched in the hearts of those who lost, but in the very fabric of an industry. We learned that in the high-stakes game of technological advancement, the price of failure is measured in human lives. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Today, as we soar through the skies in machines more advanced than ever, we carry with us the lessons of the past. Each flight, a testament to the relentless pursuit of safety, born from the ashes of tragedy. 
In this relentless march towards the future, we must never forget the cost of overlooking the fragile balance between innovation and safety. The legacy of that day is not just in the loss and the pain, but in the unyielding quest to ensure that such a tragedy never repeats. In the grand narrative of aviation, each chapter builds on the last. From the darkest moments emerge the brightest dawns. And so, we fly on, not just because we can, but because we must. Always striving, always remembering.